Hey everyone, my name is Nat Sibby and I'm one of Sai's captains this year. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to provide a short tutorial for those of you who still want to audition but maybe can't make the workshop. So this is just going to go step by step on how to execute all of the pieces. This will be done with counts rather than the music. So after watching this video, please go back to the actual audition video and you know slow it down or try to do the steps with the music as well. So let's get started. Um, the first step, all you're gonna do is take your right leg and kind of move in a diagonal direction. So this is my right leg and I'm moving in this like le left diagonal direction where I step. And at the same time when I'm stepping, I'm lifting my left leg and then I'm putting my left leg back down and planting my right foot back down. So with counts, that looks like one and two, okay? And so your hands, all your hands are doing is right when you make that first step with your right leg, your right hand will extend this way and your left hand will be in front of your chest like this. And basically your hands are in this shape where all of these four fingers are together and your thumb is sticking out. So one and two. So as you can see on two, which is when your right foot comes back down, you change sides. So one and two. Uh, three, four is a little complicated to do hands and feet. So the feet themselves are just these two circles. Um, so you're just gonna make two circles with your feet and your hands, remember we ended like this. So now your left hand is gonna come back in and you're actually going to extend both your right hand up and your left hand down. When they get to this kind of, about this position, they're gonna turn out, so you're gonna turn your hand outside so that your thumb is pointing away from your body so that you can make a circle. And then when you come back to this kind of vertical position, you're going to turn it back towards your body so that you can, from here, you can make this, this circle center position again. So with the counts, it's actually gonna be three, four, okay? Next move that we're gonna do is um, from five so it's going to be something called a volley hop so how you do a volley hop is you use your left leg you raise it slightly above the ground so that you can push it into the ground and by doing so you should generate enough momentum to kind of bring your right foot back up and so when you bring your right foot back up we're looking for like a 90 degree angle if possible and also your feet should be flexed so instead of like this they should be like parallel to the ground and so your hands, uh, remember we ended here. So now instead your hands are gonna be cupped into fists, your right hand's behind your left, and you do this move with the volley hop, you just go break. So that's five. From here, your foot's actually gonna make a circle like this. And your hand, which was here, your, right, your left hand's gonna stay here, your right hand's gonna actually follow your foot, except it's going to take a horizontal pathway. So six and seven. So and seven, uh, what I just showed you, basically from here, you need to hop onto your, so that your left leg is now up in the air. And when you do that, your hands go from here to here. So now they're facing each other, their palms are facing each other, and you're here. And and, that's an and, and then this is seven. So eight is actually a hold. It's more of a hold. So you just stay like this. And as you can see, this ending position that I'm in, uh, the, my right hand is in front of my right leg at a little bit of an angle. My left hand is in the same plane as my right hand. It's not like at my side, it's up here, but it's following kind of the same angle as my leg. So it's still horizontal while this is straight. Okay, so to reiterate that one, so it's going to be five, six, and seven, eight. All right? So the next step is another volley hop variation, except this time, instead of going like this, you will be going to the side, okay? So the way to uh, do that is your knee has to kind of twist towards your body. We're not looking for a lot of twist from your upper body. It really is mostly just your legs. So your, your knee is gonna twist in to your body like this so that you can almost get a, you can almost have your leg be horizontal, like that. 
And so the second move, so this is one, two is just a normal body hop. So one, two, and the hands for this are really simple as well. You're gonna take this hand, put it on this inner elbow area, take this hand and it's kind of palms up like this and you're, you're just gonna follow your foot. So it's gonna look like one, two, okay? And then from here is where things get a little bit tricky because when you land, when you put your foot back down, you actually have to put it in a way so that your feet are no longer parallel. So as you can see, like this, my heel is facing this back right 45 and my toes are facing towards my body towards the left 45. So when you finish this move, land like this, and then use your heel to pivot so that your, your heel is now facing inwards towards your body and your toes are facing out. Then you pivot again on the balls of your feet to create the same, to make it so that your heel is towards the back 45 and also your toes are pointing this way. So to reiterate, you just go one, two, three, and four. And with your hands, this hand is gonna be complete from here. It's gonna go completely clean next to your, like glued to your thigh. And this hand's actually gonna start here for three and four. So you're doing a kind of pushing motion in the opposite direction that your body's actually moving. So one, two, three, and four, okay? From here, you're already in this position and you can, your most of your weight should be on your right side. So from here, you're gonna shift all of your weight onto your left leg and simultaneously, you're gonna take this arm that's already out and just bring it in like this so it ends up in a fist on your right shoulder. So now you're just gonna shift your weight to the other side while simultaneously doing the same thing with your other arm. So you're gonna lift this arm and go, okay, like this. So it's just a shift of weight. Um, so this will be five, six, and seven is actually, you're gonna go from having all your weight on your right leg to a tiptoe position. And as you do this tiptoe position, you're going to make a big circle and then you're going to come in. So as you can see, my feet just went in and my whole body crunched down. And with your hands, you're just going like this. So from here, it's five, six, seven, eight. And that's the first half. So after this, you'll have 12 counts of freestyle where you can do wherever you like. Um, show us anything you wanna show us. You can do anything. Um, it doesn't even have to be to the beat if you wanna show like, uh, the worm or like a backflip or really anything that you think showcases a little bit of your personality and a little bit of why you love to dance, so. What's up y'all? My name is Ashwin. I'm one of the SIA captains for this upcoming year and I'm really excited to show y'all the second half of our audition tutorial workshop. You know, normally we'd be doing this in a big gymnasium on campus with speakers and lots of people, but um, obviously now times are different. So instead you get to see this fine resort here, uh, which is my apartment in the middle of West Campus. So it is a different experience. So to get this half started, what I'm gonna do is first show you all the music. Um, and if you remember, the half that Nanette just taught you is the first half, and then there is that 12 count freestyle, and then the second half will start. So what I'm gonna do is to give you an idea of when the second half starts, is I will do one, two, three, four, on the four beats before this half starts. And then when I give you the five, or my full hand, that is the first beat that we're gonna learn here. So let's first start with the mix. So, yes, so this half will basically start four beats before the big beat drop, and it is right after that 12 count freestyle. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now just teach the rest of it with just the counts. And then hopefully you can pause this video and play the mix and link up and sync up, sorry, the counts that I'm teaching you with the mix that's being played. So let's start now. So basically the first four counts of this are going to be kind of fast. The counts are five and six and seven, eight. And then when the one comes after the five, six, seven, eight, that's when the beat will drop. So for five and six, we're gonna do a little crossing motion with our arms and legs. So what that is, so let's do first just five and. The footwork on five and is this, five and. So this is my right leg and my right hand, my left leg and my left hand, and my I'm just jumping and I'm crossing my feet with my right foot in front of my left foot, like so. Five and. So now, let's bring our arms into this. My hands are like this, they're like, like blades. My fingers aren't protruded and my fingers aren't apart. They're just like simple, straight up, right? So my hands are like this, they're kind of out at my right at my hip, making about a 90 degree angle at the elbow. So when my feet cross five and, my arms are actually gonna do the exact same thing. They're gonna go five and. So together that looks like this, five and. Okay, so that's five and, and then we have to piece in six and after that. So we just had five and, so for six what's gonna happen is, we're gonna take these arms and shift them out here, and at this point my right shoulder is towards the back, and I'm gonna actually lean that right shoulder back a little bit more, just to create that effect. So we had a five and six, and now for the and of six, I'm gonna bring my arms in, right sort of at my body line. So we have five and six and. Okay, now for seven and eight, this is probably my two favorite counts, it's gonna be a straightforward body roll. So that's five and six and seven, eight. Right, um, the body roll isn't gonna come naturally to everybody and that's totally okay. So part of what, how you can imagine it is using your toes to elevate your body and that kind of creates that, that wave-like motion that you're making with, the, with your whole body. So watch my feet this time. That's gonna be five and six and seven, eight, right? Basically, you're just kind of moving your each, you wanna feel each part of your body kind of pressing up against the wall right here like this. And that's how you have the first four counts of this half. Five and six and seven, eight. Okay. So now we're gonna have the beat drop, where it's, well, the next few counts are gonna look like this. The first two counts are one, two. So again, here's my left arm, here's my right arm. I'm starting off with my left hand, and both my hands are in fists, fists, and my left arm is out here, and my right arm is inside, and the arms are gonna do one, two. And at this point, I really have to flex my arms to create that powerful, kind of punching motion to the side. My arms, by the way, are coming around just like this. Like, sorry, like one, two, right at my chest level. There is no elevation change. My right foot is gonna kick out on the beat, just one, two, and there is a slight hop on my left foot. So it looks like one, two, okay? Perfect. So we had five and six and seven, eight, one, two, and then the next two counts are gonna look like three, four. So this time we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So what's happening here is my feet went one, two, three, four. So my left leg came up on three, and it touches down outside on four. And my hands, they went one, two, up on three, and they came down on four. And on four, notice my head is also looking down my left arm towards my left side. So, so far we have five and six and seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So the next couple steps are gonna involve, the next two counts are gonna involve a little bit of grace in your footwork. So after we had the one, two, three, four, the next footwork goes like five, six. What I'm doing here is I'm just kind of gliding my, my toes across the floor so it looks like five, six. And my arms are gonna have, um, think about like Harry Potter waving a wand, it's just five, six. 
five, six. So it starts off here at my right shoulder, comes down to my left, like lower left, comes up to my left shoulder, and then comes down to my right, lower right hip. So that's, so that's sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's recap what we have so far. That's five and six and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the next couple steps are gonna be basically your, your right leg is doing what we call volley hops, where it's gonna look like this from the side. Just my right foot goes up, it looks like one, two. Right? So to give you an idea of what eight counts of volley hops look like on just my right foot, it'll be like this. If I'm facing the front, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So what's happening here is so after we had the five, six, I'm now gonna do two volley hops on my right foot. So the footwork will be seven, eight. What my arms are doing is like this. We're gonna go, so we just went five. Six, seven, eight. Again, we went five, six, seven, eight. So I am kind of twisting towards the inside as I punch up, and then coming back that same path as I punch down. And that creates the seven and eight. So we went five, six, seven, eight. To do it again, that's five, six, seven, eight, okay? And now we're almost at the end, where the next two steps are gonna be like this. So we have seven, eight, one, and two. All right, to move, to move back towards the center, that was seven, eight, one, two. So what's happening here is that on one and two, on one, I'm getting up on both my toes, so that's one, on the and, my left foot is starting to peel off, but not, not fully. And then on two, my left foot comes back, and I kind of lower both my knees. At this point, you have to kind of flex your core to keep your balance and strength. So that, was, that looks like one and two, okay? And my head does look down towards my right fist. So now our last couple counts. To recap though, what we have so far, let's do that first. It's gonna look like five and six and seven and eight and one, two, three and four, right? That's what we had so far. And then comes the wand motion where it's five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two. And now we're gonna do a quick spin where our arms are gonna come around this way and we're gonna finish facing the front. I think that this spin might be one of the trickiest steps of the whole piece, so you might have to pause, rewind, and keep on covering that part. So that went, we went seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Okay, to give you an idea what's happening here is my left arm is staying up, my right hand is coming up, and it's going to connect with this left arm to kind of make, when I'm facing the back, this circle over my head. Right? And then I'm going to spin back towards the front as my arms come down. And then, and then to finish off, just walk towards the camera, you know, just, I don't know, smile, maybe do whatever you want, be yourself. So one more time, let's just do this whole thing in counts. We'll do it slowly, we'll break it down. And then y'all can go ahead, pause, stop this video, and try to sync it up with the music, okay? So with the counts, we have, after the 12 count freestyle, so I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, and then on five is when we go. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it, you're done. So hopefully that makes sense to y'all. If you have any questions, you know you can text us, DM us, email us, anything works. Um, we are here to help y'all. If you want us to come, hopefully practice with you in person, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, um, we will do our best that we can given the circumstances, obviously respecting you know social distancing, all guidelines. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped.
reach out if you have any questions, and I'll see y'all at tryouts.